All right, here we go, video. Someone requested we want to see off the front. Uh, we always seem to be sitting behind people doing it. The reason why I do that, this is a Strava Strava segment. It's called Debneys. And this was a day I took the KOM since being stolen by Carl Evans uh, just a few days ago. But you can see in this left screen, we've got power and got cadence, got grade. So you can sort of see the differences in the grade there. Uh, but basically, yeah, I'm off the front here. I had like Team Sky behind me, Team Lotto. And I'm on the front, there's maybe a train of at least 170 riders behind me. And I said, guys, I'm gonna lead everyone out uh, into this climb. I was basically, uh, yeah, so I had Team Sky, I had pretty much half the tune and under plus extras behind my wheel. So I'm on the front, I'm towing everyone up the climb. And I just said, guys, like, just come around me when you want. And not, so no one's come around me so far. I'm doing 400, 400 watts, 420. 410. So I'm trying to keep my cadence between 19 and 110, all right? 19 and 110, I'm in the 34, 28. Uh, so compact gearing, so that cadence is good. My legs aren't fatiguing. I'm producing less fatigue metabolites. When you can spin, you're gonna win better, all right? You're gonna win better, it's just relative. Power's dropping off a bit there when the grade drops off, all right? So that's another tip, is when the grade drops off, you wanna keep your power on. And the reason why it's hard to do that is the kinetic forces they change in your legs. It's like when you do triathlon or duathlon and you go from the bike to the run. And the first few, the first kilometer run is really hard because the change in kinetic forces. So you want to keep that practice set. That's one thing I noticed. The pro riders they're really good at that transferring that power when it flattens off. They they can hold the throttle down. So still no one's come around me. I'm still on the front of the bunch of at least the, as probably actually it probably was maybe 250 pro riders. Um, you know, there's more. It's like the best of the best on my wheel right now, but they're still not coming around me. So I'm like, all right, guys, I'll, I'll keep leading us out, keep leading us out. I'm like, no worries. And we're 1 minute 52. It's about a 4 minute something segment. I'll do 4 or 5 or something. I think Carl Evans beat me 353. The top 10 on this segment, most of the guys are vegan. As, because in the cadence dropping down to 75, so I'm in the 34. Tw Actually, I'm at the saddle maybe here. Here we go. So putting put a bit of a harder gear, leg, give the legs a bit of a respite. You can do that, a bit of mix and match out of the saddle. 450 watts, just trying to hold it together. I'm on my bamboo bike here. Bamboo bike with uh, just standard road tires, 4000 S Continentals, 12%. And look at that cadence, I can still get 14%, still got cadence, 34, 28 for the win. Uh, I don't really need much easier than a 28 this climb. Because you can see my cadence didn't really drop too much. If my cadence was dipping down to 80 in the saddle, then yeah, let's put on some easier gears. But for this climb, it's fine. So that cadence is really good now. The hour record, 105 cadence, pretty much for everybody. Watts are still good. And no one's come around me yet, so the bunch is still behind me. So this is why I do videos sitting behind everyone. Otherwise, it's a bit boring, because all you can see is the open road. So when you see me do my videos, I go behind everyone so you can sort of see what's going on. If you want to see a good video cycling, maybe you one with Pat Shaw uh, recently, and it's the Criterion from the Bay Crit. So I'll link it down below, that's a great, a video where you can see the commentary and back and forth because it's the criterion, all right? So often there's swapping off and stuff like that, but generally hill climbs, there's not much swapping off going on. So I'll sort of sit in the back so I can show you what's going on. But here, still no one's come around me. I look back and I think I've dropped most, but maybe all behind me now is maybe Team Sky. And there's Tim Kerris in the car shouting at Chris Froome, come on, hold his fucking wheel. Hold his wheel, you cunt. And he's, Chris Froome's going, Dude, this is too strong on the bamboo bike, not enough carbs, got to get the cadence up. So Chris Room's behind me, spinning like a washing machine. He put it in a spin cycle, and I'm spinning. I'm doing 105 cadence, and Chris Room's like, yeah, good work, good work, keep going, mate, keep going. And boom, this is where Chris Room gets dropped from a wheel. I, I, but because I'm not sitting behind him, I can't show you that. So now I'm by myself, I'm soloing up, I think I'm gonna get the Strava KOM, I got it. Tim Kerrison, he's driving up, he's beside me now, he goes, he's, who you signed for for 2017? Who you signed for, mate? So I'm just signing for myself. I'm not riding pro this year. He's like, oh, mate, come on, we'll sign you up. So Tim Kerrison, he's like throwing money at me right now. You can see $100 bills. If you look closely, there's like thousands of dollars just getting littered behind me. Tim Kerrison, he's on the front of Dave Brown. So we've got to get this bamboo rider right on the man. He's just blitzed the whole fucking down under field on a fucking Strava segment. And I'm like, look, move to the right. I've got to get the race line here. Tim Kerrison's his, uh, Subaru Forest has just crashed down there. Obviously, I can't show it because the camera's only facing forward. But uh, it was an epic climb, and I just smoked fucking everybody on the climb. I'm out the saddle now. I look behind me. There's no one. You know, there's the SES crew coming to rescue the fucking crashed car. There's pros littered all over the road. And I just thought, fuck, I've just blown everyone off my wheel. Day in the life, mate. Day in the life. So there you go. That's why I don't do the camera on the front all the time, because no one can keep up with me. I like to stay behind to see what's going on. Now I'm going to go to that to get some water. Done, mate. Day in the life. 
smoke. And I looked down, there's there's rubber melted off my tires at this point, like melted, man. There's splinters of metal had shipped off my chain, man. Big power, big power. 